Hope you're happy. Hope you're having fun. I want to show off that it's amazingly a snowy day outside. Woo! Look at that snowy snow snow. Maybe we can go. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Snowy, snowy snow outside. Finally in Ohio, it's a snowy day. It's been a long time since we've had some snow in this wonderful state that I live in. It's finally feeling like winter. Now that I'm gigantic and terrifying, I will shrink myself so we can get into some Japanese learning. That's probably about big enough, eh? Alright, let's start off by pointing out that you can check out EvansEasyJapanese.com There you can check out other G uh, Japanese language proficiency test videos, the grammar videos, the reading vocab, the vocab and kanji, blah 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 Let's see, grammar, there's a bunch of grammar videos there's a bunch of reading videos. There is a bunch of kanji and vocab videos. I don't have the uh, listening on here yet. That's simply because I wanted to finish them all up. And that's sort of what we're doing today. I think this is the last conversation on this uh, on this track. When you're here, you can see the Quizlet cards. The Quizlet cards, you just, uh, they have a huge, I have a huge list of vocab that you can read. It looks like this one is one that you can use. These guys are all in... Yeah, so we cheap slash inexpensive. Yeah, what happened to these guys? These guys got screwed up. Maybe I need to link a different one. Um, those ones don't have the things on them. Let's see. Are these them? Oh, actually, I want to go to... Evansy's Japanese. Then if you go to... If you join this class, EvansysJapanese.com, you join the class. Uh, I think it just asks you if you want to join. You'll see all the uh, Skyrim. <laughs> you listen to me mumbling like an idiot. You'll see all the Skyrim video related ones. Uh, JLPT N5 vocab cards. Yeah, this is the good one. These ones have the. I'm gonna have to change the link apparently. Uh, these ones have the parentheses around them so they don't sound annoying. Cheap slash inexpensive. See how it didn't say Yasui on it. Uh, Yasui. And it didn't say Yasui twice. That's because we put those parentheses. That was from a Mr. Mike Meyer. I believe it was, or did I get the wrong name? Wrong, the wrong name. I gave him a thank you card in here. Yep, Mr. Mike Myers, thank you very much once again for cleaning those up. That looks fantastic. It sounds fantastic. Thank you very much. <clears throat> oh, nasal congestion. The wonderful time of the year when all of that normally snot would be turning into boogers. Anyway. That being said, you can go on here, check out the JLPT practice, individual grammar lessons. You can learn about particles, adjectives, verb conjugations. If there's a video you want me to make or there's a confusion that you have, just ask. You can get me on. Oh, in fact, if you want to know where you can see me or where you can find me and contact me, I'm on YouTube. Leave a comment somewhere. I'll get to you eventually. Reddit, um, I guess I would prefer you didn't contact me on Reddit because I'm a crazy political guy. And you'll read all my crazy politician stuff. But anyway, uh, you can contact me on Twitch. Uh, go to Quizlet. I don't think you can contact me through Quizlet. But I'm on Facebook. You should check out Facebook. Woo! Facebook! Woo! Woo! Yay, Facebook! It can, oh, I don't know. Facebook's acting screwy lately. Uh, I'll let you know when I'm going live, generally. But apparently, Facebook might not tell you right away. Oh, but anyway, uh, you can contact me through here. Uh, Facebook apparently doesn't tell you right away, but you can check out on Twitter, which I think is an immediate telling of when I'm going live. I only have seven followers. That's pretty sad. I'm such a loser. Anyway, it's only been a few. Hey, decided to stop by the live show after stalking your Skyrim reboot. Haha, <laughs> howdy Evan, how you doing? Shady Endless. One of these days I'm going to get the second screen like up here so I'm not like this. I'm reading, dude. But hey, how you doing? Glad to see you. We got two people viewing. Howdy doody. Uh, that all being said, if you enjoy what I'm doing, give me a one-time donation via the donate button. Or become a patron. If you become a patron, you can see... Oh no, somebody backed out of me, I guess. Oh well, I'm losing money. Uh, you'll be able to get some rewards, blah, 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 and it'll be fantastic. Uh, I got some rewards that you can give me. And or that I'll give you for for uh, for um uh, for uh, subscribing to me, and uh, working on those right now. One of them's a Sailor Moon drawing that I'm still working on. Been very busy lately, but here's Sailor Moon. It's pretty cool stuff. And another one I'm making some bumper stickers, which I think you can see over here. Patreon rewards so far. Yeah, this one. Uh, one of these days uh, that'll be a bumper sticker, and it'll be exciting to have if you want to get that. 
That being said, let's go ahead and get started on the actual learning of the day. Let's see. I will jam it over to about here. Rooney, actually, I'll make my ugly face smaller so that it won't interfere as much. Oh, I closed out of the Windows. Oh, I, anyway, I, I apparently closed out of the Windows media file that I was in, the actual one that we're going to be using, so I guess I'll have to be jumping back in there. Sorry, give me one second to reload it. I'm a bozo. What? I've already set this to the one that I want to use all the time. Hello? Use this one, please. Why do you change all the time? That's not someone at your door. That is the audio file. Where is it? Alright, so that's the one that we're actually listening to right there. Oh. Anyway, uh, sorry, let's jump right on in. Hey, basu te de. Basu te de. Basu is katakana te de. Uh, so this baste is a bus stop. Basu is bus. Te is the bus stop. The, so basu te. Uh, generally, I don't think that there's they use te for many other situations other than bus te. Bus te. Uh, happy bus te to you. A little bit different. The te kanji is not used for like train stations, so don't even try doing that. This is chiefly for bus stops and things like that. So bus te de. Onna no hito to bus gaisha no hito ga. Onna no hito to onna no hito to bus. Gaisha no hirupsha no hito. I forget if she said ga or wa. Um, let's see. Onna no hito to basu. I'm pretty sure she said gaisha no hito. Let's listen to that one more time just to make sure I didn't screw up. Click. Onna no hito to basu gaisha no hito ga hana. Ga hanashite mas. Ga hanashite imasu. Boom. Ga hanashite imasu. Oops, I accidentally added the kanji on the section that I didn't want to add kanji to. Isn't that an embarrassment? Embarrassing thing to happen. So, basute de onna no hito to basu. Basu gaisha is kind of one word. Basu gaisha no hito ga hanashite imasu. Alright, so this, what we're talking about today is basute de, actually let's keep basute together, it's kind of like one word. Basute de onna no hito to basu gaisha no hito ga hanashite imasu. Let's just jam that down one. Alright, so what we're looking at, we're looking at the chief verb is hanashite imasu. Uh, if you've been paying attention to the past few streams, hanashite imasu means to be speaking. Hanashimas is to speak. Hanashite imas. The te form plus imas means currently doing. The ga particle is telling us who's doing it, and it's actually adding emphasis on the fact that it's these people talking. Uh, so the best explanation for ga and wa that I've heard in a while, ga versus wa, is ga emphasizes that which comes before it. So the fact they're talking isn't so important. The fact that it's these two people talking is important. Basu gaisha is just basu kaisha. It's the word for company and bus together. So uh, bus company no hito. That's all basically one noun. So let's just jam it together. Basu gaisha no hito. The no particle combines them. Same thing over here. Ona no hito. Ona means lady or female woman. And then hito means person. So the woman person and the bus kaisha company, the, the, the bus company person are talking. Where are they talking? Because hanashite imasu is an action verb. I am speaking to you. Action is happening. Uh, because action is happening, we use the de particle to tell us the location of action. The location of action and basute is the location of action. So, at the, at the bus stop, a lady and a bus guy, bus company guy, are the subject, are speaking currently. So, lady and a bus company guy are talking to each other at the bus stop. Let's go and listen to that one more time. Get your listening ears ready. Listening ears. Stay there. Whoa. Not far enough. One more time. Here we go. Bus 
Perfect. Some of you might be wondering why Kaisha. Normally it's Kaisha, but here it's Geisha. Basu Geisha. Sounds like it feels like something's vibrating. It's crazy. It's probably just the heater going overboard. Uh, Basu Geisha. It's just because it's like one noun. Sometimes uh, con uh, Japanese will do this when it's one noun. Uh, they just sort of slur that ka into a ga because it's easier to say. I mean, say ka and then say ga. Which one was easier? Ka is much harder to say than ga. And uh, Japanese is no different. The, the G sounds just easier to pronounce. So in situations like this, very frequently, uh, they'll add ten tens to the second to, to the second noun. No hito ga hanashimasu. Okay, let's keep on trucking. Let's duplicate this guy. Delete all this mojo. Let's go on to the next statement. This is probably going to be the question. This is the way they're formatted. They give you the basis of what's happening, and then they tell you um, what the question of the conversation is going to be. Here we go. So, onna no hito, once again, is a lady. And the reason why there's a wa there is that, honestly, she's not the important information of the conversation. What comes afterwards is important. Nanban no basu ni norimasu ka? Nanban no basu ni norimasu. Nanban, oops, no basu ni norimasu. Boom. Onna no hito wa... Nanban no basu ni norimasu. Probably ka. I probably forgot the ka there because I'm a bozo. Ka? Alright, so let's just jam out some. This I'm not going to bother separating because we already went over it. Just underline next. It's all one noun. Make sure I'm not still underlined. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, boo 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 boom. The ka. That tells us there's a question. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the chat log. I can see them. <laughs> okay, so the ka makes any sentence into a question pretty nice. Well, maybe I shouldn't say any, but most. Uh, norimasu is to ride, is to ride on something, like a bus, or a train, or some other rideable device. <laughs> the thing that you are riding on gets a ni particle. Um, so I want to emphasize that. You might not have been aware of that. I just want to focus on these three are connected by the ni particle. There's the coloring. I'm going to add a highlight to the background of that just to keep them together. The knee particle tells you what you're writing. You don't use a de, you don't use an o. For example, in English we'll say, I am riding a bus. Notice that it's I am riding, and then the thing that you're writing comes immediately after it. A bus. I am riding a bus. Just like the sentence, I'm eating a cheeseburger, I'm riding a bus, the bus would be a direct object, so you might be thinking it's an o? Or perhaps you're thinking it's a de particle because you're like, well, that's the tool by which I am writing. Uh, however, nope. Think If you want to more Englishify the sentence, it's think of it you're writing on the bus. So in the knee particle is where you're on. But that might be confusing for some of you. Just remember, norimas gets the knee particle. Oh, the thing that you are writing gets a knee particle. So basu ni norimas. Nanban, which number? Which number? Nanban no basu. Nanban no basu. Let's underline all the accents together. Ban is a number, so like number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. So like, uh, this is question number seven. This is the number five bus. Nan is what? So what number bus will she ride? Onda ni wa nanban no basu ni norimasu ka? What number bus she gon' ride, I asks ya. Let's listen to that one more time. Once again, any questions, go ahead and ask, guys. That's why I'm here. That's why it's live. Feel free to ask them questions. We just heard that. Here we go. So the question is, which number bus is she going to ride? They're going to throw a bunch of numbers at us, most likely, because they're jerks. And they're going to try to confuse us, because they hate us. But let's go ahead and listen to the conversation. すみません。すみません。すみません。uh, excuse me. Ichiban no basuwa. Ichiban no basuwa. Ichiban no basuwa. Some of you might be familiar with Ichiban because it's like the great, you know, funny, I am number one, I am Ichiban, or something like that, but it totally means number one. So, like, number the number one bus, the number one basuwa. The number one basuwa. Midori eki ni ikimasu ka? Midori, midori eki. Is that what she said? Midori eki? Midori eki ni ikimasu ka? Okay, Midori eki. Apparently they're in a place called Midori. Midori eki ni 
Ikimasuka, I think is what she said. I actually wasn't listening to the verb. Oh my goodness gracious. That's probably the kanji for... Actually, I don't know what the kanji is for Midori. It's most likely that kanji, but it's the name of a location. It could be something else. Um, so let's just play it safe by not putting the kanji in. Listen to that one more time. Perfect, yeah. So, sumimasen, excuse me. Ichiban no basu wa... Oh, I'm gonna end up... I get, since there's katakana there, I gotta break it up. Basu wa... Midori eki ni iki ikimasu ka? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Oh, con oh dang it. Okay. Midori eki ni ikimasu ka? Don't hit the space bar, we're good. Alright, great. Ichiban no basu wa midori eki ni ikimasu ka? Alright, so uh, if you don't know how to read hiragana, you can go to my website and learn. I got a bunch of videos and some uh, YouTube or uh, Quizlet cards that'll help you practice. There's a million different ways to learn hiragana. Just start learning them. <laughs> All right, sumimasen. Ichiban no basu. So we have two nouns, bus and ichiban, and we're combining them together via the no particle. So the number one, bus wa. Mi so the, once again, the wa particle, she doesn't care that much about the ichiban bus. Um, she cares much more about whether or not it stops at the midori eki. So, ikimasu is to go. Ni is telling us to where it goes. Almost like a stopping point. Ikimasu, uh, Midori Eki. So, Eki is a train station. Midori must be the name of the train station. Uh, maybe it's a city name. For whatever reason, the name of the station is Midori Eki. I'm curious if that's a real place, but that's for a different time. Ichiban no basu wa, regarding the number one bus, does it stop at the number one? Or at the, at the green station, the Midori Eki? Does it, sorry, I shouldn't say stop. Does it go to the Midori Eki? Does it go to the Midori Eki? Oh, we got some questions. I just slammed out the kana in a day and writing each of them over and over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hiragana, Katakana, you can learn both of them in an afternoon. You really can. You just got to be hardcore about it and just study. I, yeah, good, good job, Shady. Uh, practice reading in Japanese. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. Even if you don't, yeah, exactly, exactly. Even if you don't understand it, just open up any anime you can find, or anime is the comics, uh, I'm sorry, manga, any manga you can find, and just practice the heck out of it. No, I agree completely with Shady. G good job, Shady. You're the man. Or woman, I... I don't know, actually. There are no references to your sex or gender. Alright, anyway, let's listen to that one more time. No offense intended, good individual. Sorry, I didn't go back quite far enough. すみません。一番のバスは緑駅に行きますかいや。そう、すみません。エクスキューズミ。一番のバスは緑駅に行きますかレッツゴーとディアミ、緑駅。アンデンアパレンティーザバスンガイシャノヒトイズアガイ。そ
but I want you to see me write these out as we go through the listening because that'll help you understand what they're saying. It'll give you a chance to read and see and hear everything. I know it's annoying for some of you, but really good practice for everybody to see it being written. All right. Yet yeah, no, that's incorrect. What you just said is not accurate. Midori eki ni ikubasu wa. I'm gonna leave that alone for right now. But basically, it's talking about a bus. The bus is sanban, and the tow part. A sanban's a noun. We treat it treat it like a noun. Number three, number five, and number seven. These tow particles mean and. Uh, when you have a list of nouns or noun-like things. Uh, you combine them, you put them together with the toe particle, and it translates to and. Uh, so three, number three, number five, and number seven. Desio, I tells you. This yo particle is basically just asserting a fact. Like, he's fairly confident in what he's saying. It's an assertion. It's a statement. This is not a question. It's kind of, I mean, it's almost like I tells you. It's like, I'm telling you, it's number three, five, and seven. Not rude like I just said it, but it's, uh, he's making an assertion. We'll just leave it at that. All right, why am I so excited about this right here? Believe it or not, that is one whole noun. This whole thing is a noun. Okay, this is actually the subject of this sentence. Um, basu is actually the official subject of the sentence. Um, so I'm going to make him dark red. However, all of this is modifying that subject. So the actual verb of the sentence is des. So if you take nothing else away, it says the bus is three, five, and seven. The bus is three, five, and seven. We have to know which bus he's talking about. So if you notice we have a place, Midori Eki. Midori Eki is a location. We'll give him a, I don't know, a purple color. Iku is a verb. We'll give him a greenish color. See how he's light green because he's a verb just like des is. However, he's not the official verb of the sentence. So, midori eki ni iku basu. This is all the same noun. This is saying midori eki ni iku goes to midori eki, goes to midori eki, uh, train station, eki is train station, goes to the midori train station bus. This is how we make sentences like the bus that goes to midori eki. Uh, this is how you take an entire sentence like that. The bus that goes to midori eki is number three, number five, and number seven. Did you notice how we have we have two verbs in the sense, iku and des? This is fantastic. Um, I'm not going to dwell on this anymore because this is not a grammar, explana grammar explanation. But I want to point out this is super important for you to be able to understand. Uh, basically, you put a plain form sentence directly in front of a noun, and you're saying the noun that verbs, the noun that sentences. So, uh, piso tabiteru hito, the person who's eating pizza. Uh, computer o tsukateru hito, the person who is using a computer. Um, if it's a noun, if the sentence ends in a noun or like a des, uh, you should just use like a, uh, it, it's, it's more like a, a no particle that you'd be using. Um, so, like uh, the computer man would be computer no hito. So actually then the no is actually just like a clause. But let's not get into that, that'll be a grammar explanation. Dan say this, yo. Okay, he's a guy. Sorry about that, shady. <laughs> All right, so let's once again, yet, oh, oh don't, let's, no, okay. Yet, no. Midori, ek, uh, midori eki ni iku, going to the, to the Midori train station, bus. The bus that goes to the Midori train station, wa? So once again, what comes after the wa particle is more important because honestly, she already knows it's what he's talking about. So who cares? Number three, number five, and number seven, des yo. Sanban to goban to nadaban des yo. Iye, midori eki ni ikubasu wa sanban to goban to nanaban des yo. All right, let's listen to that one more ichido time. Midori eki ni... Oh, let's go back a little tiny bit more. There we go. Ikubasu wa midori eki ni ikimasu ka? Iye, midori eki ni ikubasu wa sanban to goban to nanaban des yo. Boom. So Did you hear how when he this is one more listening practice. Notice how he almost says this like it's one noun. Like his entire sentence he's going And he has those little pauses. Notice there is not a single pause between all of these. All the way to wa, there's no pause. 
That's because he's treating it in his mind like it's a single noun and there's no need for pause. Let's listen to that one more time. Notice there's no pause. The, even her, she's, tr she's trying to make this easy for you to listen to, so she pauses and pauses and pauses. But notice he does not bother to pause throughout this entire slur of stuff. So here we go. ばすに乗りますか?すみません。すみません。パーズ。いいえ。緑駅に行きますか?パーズ。いいえ。緑駅に行くバスは。いいえ。緑駅に行くバスは。in his head, appropriately, correctly, that's all one noun. Sanbanto, gobanto, nanaban desu yo. And then you hear those little pauses in the rest of his speech. I want to point out how important this is. This is going to take your Japanese level from beginner to intermediate if you can master that. Um, I highly recommend studying about, oh, excuse me, uh, modifying a noun with an entire sentence. Once again, it's basically just the, uh, it's just basically plain form verb in front of a noun, and you're, you're good. All right, let's listen to the next one. Duplicate that slide, and let's give it a swirl. Any questions? Nope, we're still where we are. For the viewers, hi everybody, how are you guys doing out there in Twitchville, USA? Or wherever, country? where is everybody? Where are you guys all living? Where's everybody living today? Oh, he just said that. So desu ka? So desu ka? Oh, is that so? So desu ka? Ooh, ka. So this guy, we'll just copy that because that's all. Whoa, hello. We'll just copy that because that's what he, she just said. Actually, that's, uh, whoop, copy, paste, paste. All right, because that's going to be in Katakan anyway, so might as well keep going. So this guy, oh, is that so? Ah, uh, the. Oh, 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 so then that guy starts talking. Uh, so this guy, is that so? I'm just going to erase that uh, because apparently the guy starts talking. Uh, he remembered something. Uh, Maybe even put an explanation for that. Oh. Nanaban desu yo. Nanaban desu yo. So desu ka. Oh, is that so? Ah. Oh. Demo. Demo. But. Demo. Whoa. <laughs> demo. That means but. And we use demo usually in the beginning of a sentence. Uh, you don't find demo for the word but in the middle of a sentence because um, that'd be kedo or uh, no ni. Uh, demo is usually by itself at the beginning of a sentence. Demo, something, 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 something. At least for today, we're talking about today and today only. Oh, a squirrel just ran by. Hi, squirrely pearly. I can't show you very well. I think he said kara. Let me double check on that. The squirrel distracted me. I apologize. I have a thing for cute animals. I'll put a comma there. Our viewers, Oregon, Shuni, Sundimas, Oregon, Oregon. What happened in Oregon lately? Oh, there's the the uh, the the standoff with the dudes in the militia. And we got. I'm living up in Minnesota, Minnesota. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose a viewer here, but I'm a Green Bay Packer fan. Uh, sorry. I still love you. I still love you. I still love you. Stick with me. We'll make beautiful music together. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and translate this. Uh, I don't know, maybe you don't care about sports that much. Let me uh, put this in easy to read mode. Demo kyo wa nichi yobi desu kara. Goban is read goban. No basu wa arimasen. Sorry, there's no music in the stream when I'm doing listening because I don't want it to interfere with everything. Oh, good. I still got five viewers. Okay, good. You didn't leave. Minnesota and Oregon. Congrats. Oh, uh, by the way, your, your sentence. Oregon's tune is in the mouse. Perfect. Ah, uh, demo, kyo. Where's my mouse? Ah, uh, demo, kyo wa nichiyobi desu kara. Kara, because. Notice how because came directly after a verb. Perfect. Um, 
Great, yeah. I mean, that, that, after, at the end of a sentence, at the end of a verb, we'll find kara. Or if you want to do a casual thing and come after adjectives, um, yeah, adjectives just by themselves, that's kara. So because it is michiyobi, which is Sunday, kyo wa, regarding today, now I want to point, point something out. Kyo wa isn't just the topic of nichiyobi des kara, it's also the topic of goban wa arimasen. Um, and this is a situation where we have two wa's in the same sentence. This wa is setting up the topic. I'm going to put him in a kind of a deeper red. So kyo wa, then all of this is related to the fact that it's kyo. Nichiyobi des kara. Goban no bus wa. So goban no bus once again is a, the number five bus. Then we have another, oh, oh, uh, do, 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 do. okay, and then we have another wa here. This wa is telling us at least. Um, in the previous sentence, we had three. We had the sanban, the goban, and the nanaban. And then he's saying, oh, the goban no bus wa, that one, arimasen, that one is not there. Once again, the fact that it's the Goban bus isn't as important as the fact that it does not exist today. It does not exist again. So once again, the information after the Wa is more important than the information before the Wa. Um, however, honestly, the, the fact that it's the Goban no bus is pretty important be, because, but they've already mentioned the Goban bus, so it's not as important as the fact that it's Arimasen. So there is no Goban bus today. There is no Goban bus today. Why? Because it's Sunday, um, it might even be more accurate to leave this out of the underline. It's almost like this needs this kill was referring to all this, but uh, it, really it's all together. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. But oh, regarding today, there when arimasen is one of those weird words. I actually have a video for arimasen. It's translated mostly as exists for non-animate objects. However, this one you just basically translate it as there is. However, here it's negative. There is not a number five bus. Goban no bus wa arimasen. There is no number five bus because it is Sunday. Boom, let's listen to that one again. Well, a six, so I got a viewer. Even though I'm a Green Bay Packer and you're from Minnesota, I, st I kept on one and I even gained one. Maybe you got a friend in here. <laughs> demo. Uh, demo, but. Sorry, here we go. Get your listening ears ready. We'll do it again after this one again. Perfect. It dawned on me that this would be a great time to show you something about kanji. This kanji is nichi yobi. So let me under let me color in each one of these kanjis. I hope you're not if you're colorblind, let me know. Um I don't I'm not trying to be a jerk. So nichi yobi. So Nichi is actually uh, the green part. If you can't differentiate the colors, let me know and I'll try to... I don't know anything about color blindness. So just help a guy out and I'll make it more friendly for you. Um, notice how this kanji is the exact same kanji as this kanji. Um, but yet they're read different ways. They're read different ways. In fact, if we go to jisho.org and we type in Nichi or something like that, Nichi. Oh, and actually, I don't want just Nietzsche. I want um, I want to do the hashtag kanji. I want to show you why memorizing kanji is generally a stupid thing to do. Like, I'm just going to learn this kanji. Yeah, all of them. Woo. Um, so, notice there's he, there's b, there's ka, there's Nichi, and there's jitsu. Those are all the ways to pronounce the kanji. In fact, there's even more because this is pronounced. You see that kanji right there? Let me zoom in on that. Woo. This kanji right here is actually pronounced ashita, so there's no connection to the kanjis before. Like it says here, there's five pronunciations. However, here's another one. Uh, here's another one, kyo. And then there's a kino, uh, kino. So memorizing kanji generally is wasted time. What you should do is memorize words and then learn the kanji for those words. Okay, so when you start learning kanji, don't just pick up a kanji card and be like, I'm going to memorize every single piece of information on this card. Yeah! And then throw it out and then get a new one. That's honestly self-defeating. You want to just learn a bunch of vocab and then figure out what the kanji for those vocab are afterwards. That's how you're going to pick up the kanji. Okay, that's how you're going to learn kanji. 
Okay, let's get back to the thing. Let's listen to that one more time. So I got off topic because I'm a goofy ADD guy. あ、でも今日は日曜日バスは3番と5番と7番ですよ。そうですか。あ、でも今日は日曜日ですから5番のバスはありません。そうですか。<laughs> she says Sodeska again. She's a Sodeska machine. So she's probably going to ask a question here, so I'll actually get this ready. Um, Sodeska means, oh, is that so? Oh, is that so? Sodeska. Um, believe it or not, the word so uh, in Japanese is very similar to the word so in English. It means, like, uh, is that the way things are? Oh, man, we're getting a pink sunset. It's beautiful. Uh, nah, I'm not going to bother showing you guys. All right, let's keep it going. So this guy, what does she say after that? Sore kara. Oh, it's the dude again. Oh my gosh. All right, so this guy, sore kara. This dude must be sleeping with the director because he gets all the lines. Sanban wa. Sanban wa. Sanban wa. Asa to yugata no basu desu kara. Asa to yugata no basu desu kara. Um, we'll leave that kanji up there. Uh, it's a good kanji to know. However, I feel like that's not one they're going to give you in JLPT N5. We'll leave it up there, though. Alright, so Sanban wa... あ、そうと夕方のバスですから、今の時間はおお、7番ですね。いやいやいや。いやいやいや。それから、あ、3番は朝と夕方のバスですから、今の時間は7番ですね。ボーム。Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put the spaces in here. 3番は Asato yugata no. Oh, uh, bus should be in katakana. Bus. Desu kara. Ima no jikan wa nanaban des ne. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and look at these words. We got ne. Ah, it's this, this ne is basically just saying, like, oh, isn't that right? He's almost saying ne to himself. Re after we translate this, I'm going to tell you what this ne means, because it'll make more sense once you know. So the cookie des means it is. What is it? It's nanaban. It's number seven. It's the number seven bus. What is? Well, we got a wa particle, so it's telling us what we're talking about. Ima no jikan. Ima no jikan. So ima is now. Jikan is time. So the now time, or, you know, this time here, the current time. So the current time, well, regarding right now, regarding right now, it's number seven, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? He gives a reason for why he's saying the now time is number seven. He says, kara, des kara, something des kara, because something is, well, we need to know what is. What, what's the subject of this part of the sentence? Oh, sanban wa, sanban wa. So there we go. We got a chunk of a sentence with the subject. We'll give him a nice little red. Uh, so, sanban wa, regarding number three, Asato you got the no basu. That's all one noun. Let's go and make him, I don't know, an orangish color. Sanban wa regarding the bus number three. Asato you got the no basu des. They are a uh, I think I make verbs green, yeah. Asa is morning. Asa's morning. Ma morning and once again, asa's a noun. You got this noun, evening or evening or like night. So kind of like evening, later in the day. It's a morning and evening bus. It's a bus of the morning and evening. Once again, noun, noun, we combine them by toe particle, morning and evening bus. Uh, because these are both nouns, we use the no particle to combine them with bus. Desu kara, imu no jikan wa naraban desu ne. So, oh, sore kara. Um, even more, or going further, or from that, or saying even more than what I just got done saying. Today's Sunday, so number five bus, there is no number five bus. Oh, sorry, crap. And going even further, you know, beyond that, I mean, literally, from that, beyond that. 
Zanban wa regarding number three, Asato Yugata no bus desu kara, because it's the morning and evening bus, even no jikan wa. So for the for right now, for right now, Nanaban desu ne. Nanaban desu ne. So it's I guess it's number seven, isn't it? So it's almost like the guy started off giving him bad advice giving her bad advice, then had to keep backtracking and backtracking before he gave her a good advice. So we'll color that guy orange, I guess. Great. Number three is a morning and evening bus. So I guess right now, Imanojiganwa, regarding right now time, it's number seven, isn't it? It's number seven, isn't it? This dude, whole, yeah, I know, right? This guy's, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy is definitely a bad radio broadcaster. それから三番は朝と夕方のバスですから今の時間は七番ですね七番ですね七番ですねなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでな
and you guys never typed it. The correct answer is number seven. The number seven bus is the correct answer. Ah, you guys. All right, there you guys go. Um, I think that's the end of the listening of this track. Yes, it is. So that's the end of the listening for this track, but might as well not leave us all hanging. I'm going to jam on over to the next one. And let's, ooh, let's see how good this one goes. はじめに質問を聞いてください。それから問題用紙の選択肢を読んでください。はじめに質問を聞いてください。問題用紙の電話練習しましょう。Let's see if we can actually do this one online or without the uh, test booklet. Because for some reason, the listing that I did have did, didn't correspond to the test booklet, which is kind of frustrating. Okay, so otoku no hito to, otoku no hito to. Probably onna no hito is next. Onna no hito ga ha. To onna no hito ga. Once again, we have the classic setup. So a guy and a lady are talking. Whoop to do. Let's go ahead and uh, erase this. I think she just said Kino. Let's just back up a little tiny bit. どこへ行きましたか? Okay, so we, we got a question. We got Kino. Uh, oh, sorry, let me uh, write this down for you non uh, hiragana readers. Otoko no hito wa kino do. どこへ行きましたか? Oh no, I hit the space bar. Ding ding. Cool. Otoko no hito wa kino dokoe ikimashitaka. Okay, great. Otoko no hito, the, the man. Kino, yesterday. Doko e to where. Doko means where. To where. Ikimashitaka. He went. He went where is the question? Where did he go? Where'd the guy go? The seven, oh, there we go. We got the bus right. Imo wa kikimasu yo. Great, you can hear it now. Great, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, great. So, otoku ni hito wa kino doko e ikimasu ka? Where did he go yesterday? Then it says, it's a man. Anyway, let's go. Is it gonna play? Oh, are you gonna play? Play for me, baby. I don't know, they put these gaps in here for some reason. I don't know why they put these... Oh. Sorry. Yamada-san. 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 This is stereotypical Japanese, early Japanese learner's last name, Yamada-san. The reason why they choose it is because it has two of the easiest kanji that people learn right off the bat. Uh, Mountain Rice Field Sun. So Yamada-san. It's a, it's a very, very, very common name in uh, in Japanese. I knew a guy named Yamada-san. So let's keep going. Kino do... Kino doko... Kino... Oh, kino doko... Probably where did you go or something like that. Yamada-san. Kino doko ka ikimashita ka? どこかへ行きましたか? Whoa, that's not the right ka. Okay, so Kino どこかへ行きましたか? Yamada-san, Kino どこかへ行きましたか? Nope, sorry, どこか is actually one noun. Okay, so adding the ka particle directly after a question word means somewhere, somewhere, or some whatever the noun is. Nanika, something. Dokoka, somewhere. Um, itsuka, sometime. So you can't do it for all of them, all, for every, obviously, because like nazeka doesn't really mean some why. So anyway, dokoka means somewhere. He's not asking where did you go. 
He's asking, did you go somewhere? Doko ka e ikimashita ka? So treat doko ka like, here, I'll just put this in a color, we'll make him, I don't know, we'll make him orange. It's like, treat doko ka like it's, you know, eiga kan. Oh, and I decided not to be um, uh, orange. Okay, so let's make this whole area orange. Okay, great. So treat doko ka, which means somewhere, treat that like it's, you know, mise. Uh, a, a store or a restaurant. Did you go to the restaurant? Did you go to the store? Uh, -kan. Did you go to the movie theater? There should have been a con kanji there, but I screwed up. Did you go to the somewhere? Did you go somewhere yesterday? Kino, yesterday. Dokaka, somewhere towards the location. Ikimashitaka, did you go? Did you go? Hey, Mr. Yamada, did you go somewhere yesterday? Yamada san. Hey, did you go somewhere yesterday? Yeah, I went to the land of milk and honey. Yamada-san, Can you hear that eh? Can you hear that eh? It's really, really hard to hear. Uh, listen for that eh. Dokokae, 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 dokokae. Here it comes. Yamada san. Yamada san. Kino. Dokokae, 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 dokokae i. Because he's going from a ka to an e to an e sound, so the e gets really lost. Because dokokae, dokokae ikimashita ka, dokokae ikimashita ka, dokokae ikimashita ka. One more time. Oh, here we go. Dokokae ikimashita ka? Dokokae ikimashita ka? So you could hear that the A and the E get really slurred together. Did you go somewhere? All right, here we go. Next one up. Oops. <laughs> Question mark. Oh, we got some questions. Seven bus. Yeah, you can keep going. The gaps are there to give the test takers adequate time to fall asleep. <laughs> I thought you were going to give me a real answer. Yeah. Oh, God, there's another question. <laughs> I remember I took the JLPT, I think it was the N3, um, because I was just like, yeah, let's just take it. And it was really easy, and uh, I started, I, I, honest to God, I started falling asleep in the class. So I was putting my head down, and then like the audio would come up, I was like, ah! Um, and that's not just to brag, it's just that was a funny story, because you just said that in chat. Uh, honestly, I was like, what? And eventually I started just like looking around the room, and the test taker was, like, was eyeing me. I'm like, oh, I'm not copying, I'm not, sorry, I'm not copying. I, it's just so easy on board. Here we go. Toshokan e ikimashita. Toshokan e ikimashita. Toshokan. No, I think I, I yeah. Toshokan e ikimashita. Okay, that looks like one heck of a kanji. Toshokan e ikimashita. Toshokan e ikimashita. Okay, so ikimashita, I went. Once again, Ed tells you where. Toshokan. This is a library. Toshokan. Uh, really quickly, for those of you who are interested, if you're at a, if you're at, a, if you're at like a school, Toshoshitsu is another word for library. Shitsu means room, so it's like a smaller library, like a library, you know, like a library room. The kan is more like a huge building, like a bijutsukan, like a museum or a library building or something like that. So that's what this kan tells you, um, like an eiga kan. I believe that's the same kanji for eiga kan. Uh, so Toshokan. So like big room, big building, writing. Uh, I forget what that one. Is. I think that's like recorded. So library building. Eikimasta. I went to the library. Very simple sentence. Let's listen to it one more time. Just to make sure you can hear all that. Toshokan eikimasta. Toshokan eikimasta. Ka? Toshokan eikimasta. Yeah, she's really like in the middle there. Kuka eikimasta ka? Toshokan eikimasta. It's really weird. The n here almost isn't pronounced, so be aware of that. Toshokan e ikimashita. Toshokan e ikimashita. It really hurts the ears for an English speaker, but um, the n isn't really being pronounced, and the e iki is being slurred together. So one more time. Toshokan e ikimashita. Toshokan e ikimashita. Uh, many English speakers get put off by the very nasally sound of a lot of Japanese. Luckily, I have sinus 
congestion in the summer and the fall when、uh, the allergies kick me, so I blend in perfectly. Eki no soba no tosho kan desu ka? Oh, so he goes and asks the question. Eki, oops, hey, whoo, eki no soba no, oops, tosho kan desu ka? Eki no soba no tosho kan desu ka? Yeah, that's fine, we'll just leave it there. Eki no soba no tosho kan desu ka? Um, notice how, even though he's talking about what happened yesterday, it's in the plain form. That's because he's like asking about it now. It's like, oh, is it, is it the one? Is it the one? Is it the one over there? And we do this in English. Oh, yesterday I went to the store. Oh, is it the one by the bleh? Yeah, it's the one by the bleh. Okay, so、uh, soba is very similar to just by or nearby or in that area. So, Eki no Soba, Eki's train station, we saw that in the previous conversation. Eki no Soba, so the nearby of the station, no Toshokan. Once again, that's all connected. Notice how we have noun, no, oops. Noun, no, noun, no, noun. Technically, this is a preposition in English, treat it like a noun in Japanese. So, the train station's nearby's library. The library that is near the station. This no is kind of like、uh, when you end a sentence with a no particle. Anyway,、um, Eki no soba no toshokan. The, 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 the library of near of the station. The, so the, the, the station's nearby is toshokan. The station's nearby is library. Deska. Oh, is it the one nearby the, by the station? Is it the one by the station? Yamada san. Oh, sorry. Oh, is it the one by the station? Let's see if it really was or if it was not. How dare you follow me? Maybe it's, he's a stalker and he wants to verify all the information. Hi. Oh man, he was right. He is totally a stalker and he's a bad one at it too. It, guys, if you're going to stalk a lady and you're going to like, ask about the information you saw, Take a tip from a pro. <laughs> Don't just blurt out what you did see. Like, oh, was it the one by the over there? Then you know that's wrong, because that way she won't be like wise to you. I'm kidding. This is all stupid. Please, let's continue. Hi. Okay, so she just says hi.、Uh, hi is a waste of time. Just yes, I'm confirming what you said. So let's just take that slide off and go back to what he's about to say. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, that's a long one. Okay, so. Boku wa Yamakawa pa. I think it says Paku. Well, uh. Paku. Let me just double check that one. I wasn't expecting it to be so long. Boku wa Yamakawa Paku. Nandeska? Hi. Boku. Oh, oh, did he say Nandeska? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Yamada san, kino doko ka e ikimashita ka? Toshokan e ikimashita. Eki no soba no toshokan desu ka? Oh, I heard the on and I was thinking maybe none this guy. Okay, never mind, never mind. Hi. Boku wa Yamakawa Departo e. Oh, Departo, not a Departo. Never, 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 never. Sorry, Departo. Yamakawa Park, Departo. Bozo Evan. Eki no soba no toshokan desu ka? Hi. Boku wa Yamakawa Departo e itte. E itte, e itte. Whoa, no, no, no. Uh, he. Uh, let me just transcribe this over here. Boku wa Yamakawa de Yamakawa de Departo e ite. Okay, so let's just break this down really quickly.、Um, oh, this is all one noun. E ite. Okay, so ite is the te form of ikimasu, to go. Chief subject of the sentence is Boku wa. So we're going to color him a bright red. So Boku wa. He is the subject of the rest of the sentence. He is what we're talking about. But he's what we're talking about, but he's not really the important information. What comes after it's what's important. Yama,、uh, Yamakawa Depato. This is the name of a department store, apparently. Depato is a department store. Yamakawa must be the name of the department store. So let's give it a, I don't know, a, a, a purplish color for the location. Two. So. 
I went to the Yamakawa Depato. Because it's a te form, I'm 90% sure that the next part of the sentence is going to have no subject because it's going to be him. And it's going to be what he did after going to the Yamakawa Depato. This is how the te form works. It's just like saying, this morning I woke up, brushed my teeth, went to school. Three actions, they happened in order, and uh, you didn't have to repeat the subject. That's how this te form is generally used. Let's see what he says. Yamakawa Depato itte. Kaimono o shimashita. Kaimono o shimashita. Kaimono o shimashita. I, uh, I went shopping. Kaimono o shimashita. Kaimono o shimashita. Okay, so this guy is a nerd burglar. I don't know if there's a better word for that. It's like, hey, Yamaguchi, did you, some, did you do something yesterday? Yeah, I went to go, I went to a library. Oh, the one over there? Yeah. Well, I did all of these things. He asks a question just to talk about himself later. What a jerk. All right. Notice how this is the te form. And then we finally have a conclusive, a conclusive verb. Ends the mas form. Ends the mas form. That's how you know you're done with the talking. Um, that's the end of the story. Kaimono oshimashita. So what did he do? Kaimono means... Uh, Kaimono does mean shopping, but it's like the noun of shopping. Like, oh, sh shopping is fun. Kaimono wa tanoshi desu, something like that. Kaimono is the noun of shopping, whereas kaimono o suru, kaimono shimas, is to do shopping. I went shopping. Kaimono o shimasta. I, I went shopping. I, I, I did shopping. Literally, I did shimasta shopping. Kaimono. Regarding me, well, I, you know, me, you know, we were just done talking about you, but now it's me. Went to the department store, went shopping. Fun time had by me. Yamakawa Depato itte, kaimono oshimashita. Let's listen to that one more time. Here we go. Ding. Nan desu ka? Hai. Hai. Boku wa Yamakawa Depato e itte, kaimono oshimashita. Really quickly, uh, he says boku. It looks like they're trying to play up the fact that men say boku and women say watashi. Um, not 100% true, but if you are a guy, maybe choose boku when you're not talking to people who are supposed to be above you, uh, or yeah, when you're talking to people at your same level or uh, below you, quote unquote, choose Watashi when you really want to be polite. I, I really emphasize the fact that Watashi is used for politeness. Uh, you don't want to be talking to your, like, the head of the company and calling yourself Ore or something like that. Ladies, I wouldn't do anything much more than Boku. Like, if you use Omai, you're going to sound kind of manly. Omai oh or uh, sorry, omai oh means you. So ore, it's kind of like you're trying to sound like a guy, like a dude. Oh, we got a bunch of people. The gaps are there. Hi, Jacob. How you doing? Hi, Nichols. Wait, Nichols. Sorry, Nicholas. Nicholas. Sorry, apologies. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Where's everybody live again? We got somebody from Minnesota right now. We got another person from. Oh shoot, he told me, and I'm having a blank. Oregon. And uh, who else is there? Where are you guys all from? I got seven viewers, and I'd love to hear where you guys are from. Let's keep l listening. Depart ni itte. I went to the store and I went shopping. Kaimono shimashita. Oh well. Hi. Hi. Boku wa Yamakawa Departo e itte kaimono shimashita. Eh? Eh? Uh, generic. What? Sound. Eh? Sorry, uh, let's get that so I don't lose it all. Eh? Eh? Watashimo? So notice how the lady says Watashimo because gender gerio stereotypes. Gender stereotypes. <laughs> gender yo. Watashimo. Kino no yoru. Kino no yoru. Kino no yoru. Uh, last night. Yesterday night. Yesterday evening. Yamakawa Departo. No Yamakawa Departo. Whoop, where's the cursor? Yamakawa de Pato. Yamakawa de Pato. No restaurant, eh? No restaurant, no restaurant. Eh. Sorry, I can't type as fast as I can listen. Let's double check. De Pato no restaurant, eh? Ikimashita yo. Eh, ikimashita yo. Yeah, so this dude's definitely a stalker. She should probably run for her life here. 
Okay, so your particle is just asserting information that the guy might not have known or correcting information that might have been mistaken. Ikimashita, I went to. This is the chief verb. Uh, e tells us where. Where did she go? She went to a restaurant. Restaurant. Not just any restaurant. The restaurant that exists in the location of Yamakawa Depato. So let's... So the restaurant of Yam Yamakawa uh, uh, Department Store. Yamakawa Department Store's restaurant. Yamakawa just must be the name. And Depato is a department store. Kino no yoru. Once again, we got two nouns combined together. Kino is yesterday. Yoru is evening slash night. Watashi mo. Me too. I also. I also went to the restaurant of Yamakawa Depato yesterday evening Berlin Nicholas yes Berlin oh my goodness that's far away I'm in Ohio which if you have no idea is in the US I'm the one from Minnesota hey Jacob oh wait I thought that we had somebody else from Minnesota maybe you guys will oh I'm sorry Jacob yeah that's right <laughs> I'm a bozo apologies <laughs> okay, so let's write this down and here we go. Watashi mo kino no yoru, yoru yamakawa de pato needs to be in katakana. No restaurant also needs to be in katakana. E ikimashita yo. Oh, there should be a period there. All right, let's put in the spaces. Watashi mo Kino no yoru Yamakawa de pato no restaurant e ikima oh, wrong area e ikimashita yo uh, once again me too I went to the Yamakawa department restaurant we combined two nouns with the no particle yesterday evening so this dude's stalking her and is trying to find out where she eats dinner so that he can absorb I don't know I'm just going to stop being crazy. え、私も昨日の夜山川デパートのレストランへ行きましたよ。お、そうですか。お前を見てた。I was watching you. Okay, that'd be really terrifying. Hopefully he doesn't say that. そうですか。そうですか。Once again we got そうですか。uh, oh, uh, sorry, I want to point one more thing out. Yamakawa could also be pronounced Yamagawa. Uh, that could also happen. Uh, once again, they're choosing these two kanji because they're basic, like, early learning kanji. These are two, some of the easiest kanji you can learn, so they're throwing those ones at you. The names of things in Japanese N5 uh, tests are always like Yamagawa or Yamada or Noguchi or something like that. Or Yamaguchi. Oh, is that the end of it? Oh, so let's go. Okay, that's apparently the end of it. Then the question is... Oh, here's the question. Let's listen to that one more time. Let's listen to the whole thing. Here we go. Blah, blah, blah. えっと、山田さん、昨日どこかへ行きましたか図書館。I山田さん、昨日どこかへ行きましたか図書館へ行きました。駅のそばの図書館ですかはい。僕は山川デパートへ行って買い物をしました。え私も昨日の夜、山川デパートのレストランへ行きましたよ。そうですか。Where did he go? Doku e. Okay, so um, 
The number one, they're going to tell you what the correct answer is. If we had the test booklet, we do not have the test booklet. Sorry. But the correct answer should be he went to Konohaitsu at Tayenda. Yeah, run away, lady. Yamagawa de Yeah, he went to the she, he went to the Yamakawa department store. The, the Yamakawa Depato. Alright, guys, uh, that was an hour-long lesson. I hope you guys had fun. Let me know if you guys would be interested in having me play League of Legends when the new season comes out with the Japanese voice packs in. Um, apparently there's a way to get the Japanese voice packs in and maybe you guys can watch me do horribly in my silver and uh, gold league or whatever I end up being in. I figured that might be fun for some of you, but anyway, it might be a waste of time for some of you, but I figured it might, you know, maybe it's fun. Uh, so that being said, I'm probably going to call it quits here. I hope you guys had a good time. I don't want to make these videos much longer than an hour. If you sub like what I'm doing, check out my website, evansjapanese.com. If you have requests for a lesson, go ahead and make a request. I would highly appreciate it if you guys supported me. Hit the Patreon button and make a donation. It looks like, sadly, uh, no one loves me anymore and it's going down, but whatever. That's the way it goes. Make a one-time donation or you know, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe here on Twitch so you get the instant notification saying I'm going live when I do. Uh, once again, oh, sorry. Because thanks to the Patreon uh, uh, donators, I got this awesome microphone that you guys can see right here. It's going to be great for me. I'm learning how to uh, make it so there's less of a hiss in the background. Uh, that'll be coming up soon. Anyway, free, free flashcards on Quizlet.com. Just jam over here. Join my class. Uh, and you can use all these wonderful things. We have Skyrim-related uh, flashcards so you can learn about... Uh, Tsuteiku is to follow somebody, or Ningen, a human, people, humanity, Shinu, that tells you how to die. Anyway, not how to die, but uh, what the word for die is. Aiken Pre-1, that shouldn't be in here. Oh, oh, that's this is my actual full set of cards. Uh, go to Evans Easy Japanese, the class, Evans Easy Japanese, and then th this will give you all the uh, the vocab that you should need. You can go through this stuff if you want to, but it's kind of, you know, probably going to largely be pointless. If you, when you watch my YouTube videos and they have Quizlet cards associated with them, they're going to be here, okay? All right. Uh, oh, 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 if you want to know when I'm going to go live, subscribe to me on Facebook, Evans Easy Japanese. Oops, I just closed that because I'm an idiot. Doot, doot, go to Evans Easy Japanese and uh, subscribe on there. Oh, yeah, I'll just have to do all that. I don't, what the heck? I don't know why it thinks that I need to, like, go here and then re, re, redo stuff. Uh, so be sure to check on here. However, apparently a Facebook isn't an instantaneous notification because, I don't know, Facebook can't get their heads out of their booties. So if you really want to know exactly when I'm going to go live, because sometimes I don't know until about 10 minutes beforehand, subscribe on Twitter. It should just be Evans E-Z, Japanese, because there weren't enough characters to write the whole thing. And uh, that way, when I throw out a Twitter or a tweet, is that what they're called, tweets? It'll just let you know right away, I, I guess. I don't use Twitter that much. Oh, I got three notifications. I won't read them now, so I'm going live. Have yourself a great day. Any questions? I'm going to stay on for a little bit and answer some questions. Let's. Oh, we got some questions. Uh, sorry, here we go. Uh, Depato, it's a lie. He went to the girl's house the next day. That's the correct answer, Nicholas. Yes. Sir, sure, is there any way to get the interface into Japanese as well? Uh, I don't think there is a Japanese interface yet, and I think the only way to do that is going to be to actually subscribe to the uh, the Japanese server. I'm not exactly sure. Shady Endless. Oh, there is. Nicholas knows. Oh, shit. So please teach it to me. Sounds like fun. When it's on the official servers, at least. Okay, yeah. Probably when it's on the official servers. When they actually come out with the server, you'll be able to jump over, I think. But then I think your ping might come to a billion. Unless there's a way that I don't know. Uh, Lord knows I don't know. All right. Uh, hey, have a happy guy. Have a happy day, guys. See ya. Peace out. Okay, where's my OBS thing?